Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I had some time this afternoon, so I'm going to do a quick review. I had one of the my readers um, ask me to review an application called PE Guard, and I uh, went online, downloaded a trial for it, and uh, basically you can see it right here. Um, you got different options for it, uh, different modes. Uh, you can enable and disable it um, and um, it's really a simple application to install it doesn't use a lot of RAM let me show you here we got one process there about four megs and that's pretty much it so it really doesn't use a lot of uh, RAM and it's supposedly, now this supposedly it can protect you from pretty much anything. So we're going to put that to the test today. Um, I have some links here, uh, fairly zero day malware. Uh, I also want to tell you that if you look in the help instructions for it, uh, it kind of talks about the different modes. From the factory it comes installed in power mode, which is lots of pop-ups, and it says 100% protection. We know, of course, 100% is not true. but uh, And then you have normal, which is the less pop-ups, and it says 80% protection. And then you can have internet mode, which I didn't even, I don't remember what it was. I suspect it's probably 50% um, protection. Let's check it out real quick here. 100% okay uh... oh no it's just like power mode except it will not alert you to new exe files if you want to run any exe file that you've created you should change this mode Okay. so that's a little bit different mode but we're going to leave it just like it comes um, installed from the factory I haven't um, use the software pretty much at all. But let's give it a try here. Let's see what we can find out. I'm just going to take it uh, one by one here with the pop ups that it comes up. Uh oh. No? No? Well, I suspect it probably wants some kind of email. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Let me, uh, that really didn't. really didn't stop that from running. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to force the computer here to restart. And I will be back whenever I'm, the computer is done restarting. Well, there you go. Um, this is what I get now when I restart. I've restarted three times already, and I'm not getting any more hard drive activity. Um, nothing works. So it took one file and I killed it. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I see the hard drive doing something now, is I'm gonna snap back to a clean PC, reinstall PE Guard, and start from the second link and work my way down. So I'll see you when that's, when I'm getting ready to start again from the second link. So I'll see you then. Okay, welcome back. I uh, reinstalled everything. And uh, as you can see, it's all right here. And let's try again. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, this file, the process, okay. Trying, I guess, to create a new file. Okay, yeah, create new. Uh, so we will deny. Create new, deny. 
those uh, pop-ups are probably the least ex explanational ones I've seen in my life. Uh, you really have to be a, a computer geek <laughs> to know what these things are actually saying to you. Didn't see any pop-up from that one. That one's dead. Really not seeing anything. Oh, here we go. Finally, we will deny that. Let's continue here. Nope, that one doesn't work. And that one doesn't work, I guess. Yeah, of course that one doesn't work either. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we've done enough of them. Uh, this doesn't have anything to scan with or anything like that. Um, so uh, all I'm going to do now is restart Windows, import my scanning tools, uh, run CCleaner, and then run Malwarebytes. So I will be back when Malwarebytes is finished running. See you soon. Here's what I'm seeing, guys, when I restarted Windows. Uh, I am seeing a fake antivirus that has installed itself. Um, I'm going to see if I can kill this and get in there and uh, do a scan with uh, Malwarebytes. So I will be back. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. Uh, next, I'm going to do a scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware, and uh, it's kind of interesting because it pops up on these, but I know these are correct, so we will make it trusted, and I will be back when the scan is done. Okay, so um, Super Anti Spyware finished scanning here, and it found a malware trace and a registry keys, so we are going to fix that and then um, instead of using a squared I found well, at least I'm gonna try this for a little bit I found their online scanner here um, their cloud scanner whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna let this scan and see if it finds anything so I will be right back okay so it didn't find anything um, so we're gonna keep. I'm gonna keep trying on that in the future. So last is uh, Hitman Pro here. So I'm gonna do a scan with this, and I will be right back. Okay. So looks like Hitman Pro um, didn't find anything. So the last thing I'm gonna do is because I have some more time. I guess I, guess I am gonna do a scan with um, A squared. So I will be back when that's done. Okay, so finally, um, A squared finished scanning here, and it didn't find anything. So in the end, um, what can I say? Um, P guard did pretty good. Um, it still let a couple of things through. Um, other than that, uh, it's it's an okay program. It's very cryptic, though. Um, I had it turned off while I was scanning with A squared. Um, I'm sure if you you know, it's probably got all different options and things you can always adjust and change. Uh, but this isn't a program I would recommend for the average user. Definitely not. Um, it threw up alerts for when I was installing malware bytes. Uh, so if you don't know what you're doing when you're using it, um, you can pretty much stop a lot of things from running. But you saw that those two links at the beginning, uh, that first link completely killed the computer. So that was a complete failure from PE Guard on on that single link. It did okay on some of the, on the other ones, except 
that you saw when I restarted, it um, started up with a fake AV. Um, so it's still got some work that they need to do. Um, and really, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.